In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen on anything that you're doing on your computer to share with your students as a video in Google Classroom. So, you know, make believe you want to um, go through a lesson, uh, you know, a slideshow that you prepared um, or, you know, a brain pop lesson. Um, and you want to make this a video of what you're doing and share it through a video on Google Classroom. The easiest way to do this is through Google Meet. Um, which you might have not have known. So let's click on um, the little menu button on top and we're going to choose to go to Google Meet. Just make sure, again, you're signed into your school account. Click on Google Meet. Just choose join or start a meeting. Name it something like tutorial. Doesn't matter what you name it. Click continue. You could turn your camera off if you want, but make sure you keep your microphone on and just click on join now. Just click off of this. And then on the three dots on the bottom, that's your menu option. It's more options. Click it. Choose record meeting. Click accept. You can see here it says recording will start soon. Okay, so now it's going to be recording this whole entire meeting. So why don't you click now, present now, choose your entire screen. Then once you come to this page, click here, click on the screen, then click share. And you could see here it says meetgoogle.com is sharing your screen. You are presenting your screen to everyone. Which you're not, nobody's in your meeting, but this is going to be a saved recording. So now you could just leave this page and you could go on any tab that you have open. You could see here you're presenting to everyone. Okay, you could go over, uh, you know, any type of slideshow that you made. Um, talk through it. You could even show them a YouTube video that's on here. Okay. You could see here, meetgoogle.com is sharing your screen. So it's telling you you're sharing it. We could change tabs. Maybe go on a brain pop quiz and you know walk the students through it. Maybe review. Uh, mean meeting mode. Uh, you know select whatever answer it is. So I'm gonna click this. So anything that you want to teach the students, any type of lesson, it could be a short or long lesson, doesn't matter. So now I'm gonna go back to meet and I'm going to click stop presenting and then I'm going to click up here and then choose stop recording click stop recording the recording will be saved to Google Drive so now let's go into our Google Drive and see where it's saved after you have finished recording your Google Meet um, just wait about three minutes and you're going to get an email from uh, Google Meet. You're going to open it and it's going to show you the recording that you just made. Okay, if you click on Open in Drive, it's going to tell you that we're processing this video. Just check back in like I'd say about maybe 10 minutes later and then you could just get the link and then just upload it right into Google Classroom you're actually going to see that uh, Google actually already created a folder called Meet Recordings. If you click on it, you're going to see this is the one video that you just made. Um, if we click on it, it's still going to say processing. So just check back a little bit later. To upload your video into Google Classroom, just go to Classroom, click Create. If you want to choose maybe Material, you could just write your uh, description and your title watch the video below and then click on add and Google Drive and it should be your first one here if it's not you just click on my drive and then meet recordings double click and then choose this and choose add okay and then they could watch the video but just make sure before you add the video that you actually look at it to see if it's done processing 
Um, right now, because of the COVID-19, Google Drive is processing videos a little bit slower, so don't get frustrated. Um, and just, you know, have patience and it will process. Once you do that, you just click on post and then the students can see your video. There's another option that you could use if you want to record your screen and that is the uh, web tool called Loom, L-O-O-M. So if you go to Google, just type in Loom and it's going to be the first result that you see here. Just click on Loom. Okay, so once you go to Loom, um, you're just going to click on Get Loom for free and you choose Sign Up with Google. Click your school account. And then it's going to ask you um, to record a new video. So I'm going to click New Video. And it's going to tell you to install the Chrome extension. You must install this on your computer. So we're going to click Visit Chrome Store. And you can see here it's a great tool, it's got five stars. Click on Add to Chrome, click Add Extension. You're going to see the extension already popped up on top. It looks like a little flower. So now that we click Go Back on Loom, and say that you want to record something on your screen, such as, you know, Brain Pop or, like I showed you before, a slideshow that you created. So now what we're going to do is we could just click on the little loom extension on top, click it, and it's going to say loom for Chrome wants to use your camera. Just click on allow, use your microphone, allow. Now you have the option, you don't have to use your camera, you could use screen only, and that'll turn the camera off so if you don't want to show your face. And if you just want to use camera only or screen and cam. Okay, do you want to record your full desktop? I would um, definitely choose that option. So now if we click start recording, we're going to see the same screen that we saw on um, Google Meet. Just click on the entire screen, click share. And it says Loom for Chrome is sharing your screen. And you could actually get rid of this if you want. Just click off here. And you could go out throughout your whole lesson, um, whatever you want to teach the students. You could flip through tabs, anything that you want. Okay, it doesn't matter the length or anything. Uh, once you're finished, you're going to click the Loom extension on top once more. And now you're going to get your video that you just produced. Now what's great about this is um, because of COVID-19, Google Drive has been really slow in processing videos. Um, you're going to see if you do make any type of video on Google Drive, um, it's going to say we're processing, we're processing, we're processing. You could probably wait a couple of hours and it still won't be processed. Good thing about Loom is that it stores the video on Loom and not on Google Drive. So that's why the video process is much faster. If you see here, if I click play, it's already processed. There's no we're processing, come back later. Um, you guys have the option to change the name of it. So you could say tutorial. Oops, let me spell it right. Okay, you actually have the option to download it, duplicate video, delete it, and share. Okay, you also have options here to have settings. If you want to put comments on your videos, emoji reactions. Okay, all these all these options, that's up to you. Click save. And you can also have the option to trim your video. So if you made some mistakes, um, it's really, really awesome here. You just click on Start Trimming and say that you just want this section of the video. Okay, or you want to take this part out. Say that in the beginning you made a mistake and you want to take this part out. This is the part that you want to take out. Click on Remove.
and it took out this part. If you want to do it again, click Start Trimming, and you can move it. Say that you want to get rid of this section. Click on Remove, and then just click on Publish Changes. Okay, and there you go. Uh, now all you do is you just click on the link here. Do you want it to be public or you just want a link? You're only going to use the link. So just keep this on. Click copy link. And then just go into classroom. And just publish the link as a link. Paste it in. Right click paste. Click add link. And there's your Loom video. Okay, I actually prefer using Loom over Google Hangouts or Meet. Um, I just think it's much faster and it's much faster with processing the video because it doesn't process at all. It's not sitting on Drive. Your video is sitting on the Loom.com platform. So it um, depends on what you guys want to use. I prefer Loom. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.